Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the Lab at Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy. Happy Sunday. Happy day 275 of our Be Creative series. And let's see what we're going to do tonight. So we decorated the house for Christmas. My wife set up the table. She got this beautiful nativity Christmas runner, the four candles on the table. And we sat down to dinner tonight. It was just so beautiful. I thought, that's what I want for my picture. So let's take a look at what we're going to do. Now, I chose three candles tonight for, for two reasons. Number one, three is a better number to photograph. It's an odd number, it's a dynamic number, it's an exciting number. And it's the third Sunday of Advent. So we got the three candles. The fourth one's lift, so it's off to the side, so they all keep the same height now in the kitchen. But here we are. Let's take a look at what it looked like, the scene looked like, when we sat down to dinner. This is what the scene looked like. And you can see you've got the candles, the flames. The candlesticks look very flat and, and the crystal holders look very flat. The, the candles kind of blend in with the background. So what about if we turn out the lights? Turn out the house lights. And now the flames are very bright. The candles, the candles and the candlesticks are very dim, very dark. You can hardly see them. What I wanted to do with my picture was give some depth to the candles. And I'm gonna do that here with the 12 by 12 LED light panel. And I'm gonna backlight them. And if you look at the backlight, you can see the crystal in the candle holders is really coming, coming alive. And you've got some great side light, side light backlight on the candles, which is really cool. That's what I wanted in the picture. Now, what's the trick? I've got the 12 by 12 light panel here. It's lighting just the candles, and I have to get it as close and as close to the back, so it's about 45 degrees off angle, and that's about as close as I can get so the light doesn't intrude into the lens. So that's one of the tricks of using backlight. So I've got the Nikon Z7 II on my Gitzo tripod with the 24 to 70 lens at 70 millimeters. I'm gonna choose F16. Why am I going to choose F16? Because I want the little bit of glistening on the candlesticks and the flames from the candles to turn into the starburst. So let's take a look at this. So here we are. You can see that beautiful lines on the back of the candlesticks like I wanted. Boom. So there's the picture as we shot it. Let's look. This is with the house lights on. So with the house lights on, you can see all the pictures in the background. You can see everything. I don't want that. I want that it to be dark and mysterious. I want there to be something back there, but it's not the subject. What a beautiful scene. I love this. I'm going to take another one just for safety. Oh, that's where we're in playback mode. Sorry. Focus here. And I'm going to take another one focused here on the candles. You can see I'm at F16. ISO 400 gives me about a half of a second exposure. My exposure compensation here is set an aperture priority to minus one and a third stops. Why are we doing that? Because I want the background in the picture to be black. If you want to learn more about exposure, come to the intermediate exposure class or come to photo boot camp and lesson three will teach you all about exposure. Being a creative photographer is fun. It's exciting. It's seeing things around you every day and having that inspire you to make a picture. And that's what I love to do. I can't wait for you to join us. Get out there and be creative and share us what you've got. Share the pictures you make. And we'll see you tomorrow for our next day of Be Creative. It's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the Lab of Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy. Wishing you great creativity, great fun, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and make some great pictures today.